Ladies and gentlemen, I now request the Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Sri Siddharamaya, to address the gathering. Yellarigu Namaskaragal. Sri Pranam Mukherjee Ji, Honorable President of India, Sri Ujubai Rudabai Wala Ji, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Prakash Javadekar Ji, Honorable Union Minister for Human Resources Development, Sri Sadanand Gaudaji, Honorable Minister for Statistics, Sri Tanvir Shed, Honorable Minister for Primary Education and Secondary Education, Dr. Murli Manohar Joshi Ji, Member of Parliament, and former Union Minister Sri Manjunath Reddy, Worshipful Mayor of Bangalore City, Sri Gopalaya, Member of Legislative Assembly, Sri Madhu Pandit Dasa. Chairman the Akshaya Patra Foundation, Srimati Shudha Murthy, Infosys Foundation, media friends, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here this evening to commemorate Akshaya Patra's milestone of serving 2 billion meals. I compliment T. Akshaya Patra for this pioneering effort of starting a school meal program inspired by the philosophy of unlimited food for education. This great social initiative, when I am told, is currently the largest NGO run school meal program. Signals a new era in the cause of nation building. I would like to extend my hearty congratulations to Sri Madhu Pandit Dasa and to all members of the Akshay Patra Foundation on attaining this major milestone in its journey. In the last 16 years, Akshay Patra bears witness on how one wholesome square meal a day can give millions of children an avenue to attend school, to receive an education, and above all, an opportunity to a safe childhood and a better life. The milestone of attaining two billion meals reflects the willingness and the effort of the foundation to be responsive to the needs of the children and exhibit dynamic social innovation in the need to safeguard our children and address their immediate needs of food and education. I am glad to know that Akshay Patra, which had started with feeding 1,500 children in the schools in Bangalore, is now reaching out to 1.5 million children daily in 25 locations across 10 states in India. Taking roots in Karnataka, in the year 2000, Akshaya Patra is now a front runner in the field of social innovation. Over the years, it has actively participated that can be chronicled as a great nation-building exercise to tackle the pressing issue of hunger and education for our children, our most vital asset. Today, Development is highly dependent upon literacy as it is an essential tool to achieve 
rapid and holistic social transformation. In this light, the most important contributor for the growth of literacy is the expansion of elementary education. This has prompted the Karnataka, the state government, to introduce innovative ways in its midday meal program, Aksara Dasuha, to universities and improve enrollment and attendance rates, simultaneously ameliorating the nutritional level of children in schools. I am happy to note that achievements in education in Karnataka have been quite remarkable and the state is moving towards universal literacy at a steady pace. The literacy rate has increased from 66.64% in 2001 to 75.60% in 2011, with the female literacy rate increasing more swiftly than the male literacy rate. Overall, the gender disparity in literacy has also declined perceptibly, and the decline is much more evident in the less economically developed districts of the state. Our government with a vision to march forward with a missionary zeal to incentivize and improve health of children in schools has fostered the innovative program of distributing milk known as the Akshira Bhagya scheme under the umbrella of Aksara Dasuha. The scheme has helped Karnataka to make rapid strides in improving the health and nutrition level of school-going children. Karnataka has also topped the list in the first ever ranking done in the Ministry of Human Resources Development on the base of the performance and implementation of the midday meal program in school across the states and union territories with a total score of 77.79% Karnataka has also achieved considerable progress in terms of its demographic transition, a considerable decline in both fertility and mortality rates has been recorded particularly in the last three decades. All this together awarded Karnataka the moniker of a truly equitable and progressive state and the Akshaya Patra Foundation has had a vital role to play. It has not only felicitated in the emergence of this phenomena but has also contributed to the extraordinary success of Karnataka in the field of human development by attempting to address classroom hunger, spreading literacy, inculcating a desire for attending school amongst children and for launching various social innovatives under its aegis. Our government is keen to strengthen the implementation of midday meal program in Karnataka in partnership with the Akshaya Patra Foundation. Together, we have been able to enterprise and set an example of innovation in delivery of public services through our partnership. And there is no doubt that this theme of Akshaya Patra's unlimited food for education is in full resonance with the philosophy of Akshara Dasoha. The government of Karnataka has always been in recognition of Akshara Patra's effort leading to which Sri Madhu Pandit Dasa was conferred upon the Rajotsava Award in 2003. We are pleased to see how Akshaya Patra has spread its wings over the years, benefiting our children with their food for education, and we wish to continue supporting Akshaya Patra in all its future endeavors. As I stand here, it gives me a great sense of fulfillment I feel pleased to see a constellation of our eminent people of Karnataka, Mr. Mohandas Pai, Mr. Abhay Jain, Mr. Balakrishna and many more who have come forward and pledged their support to this great social initiative reflective of their will to bring about social transformation. It is indeed rewarding to be surrounded by individuals who are consensus and believe in achieving overall human development through effective participation and efficient implementation. Akshaya Patra has indeed targeted a real need of our people, 
it has taken up the onus of feeding our children improving their health giving them an access to education and above all preserving their childhood